Creating consistent content on YouTube is so important, but so difficult to manage. Um, I've committed to creating one new video every week here at VidiSEO, and I've been using my favorite productivity tool, Evernote, to help manage that process. Uh, so in this video, I wanted to walk you through my Evernote workflow. I know how much, uh, I know how exciting workflows can be, um, and show you how I use Evernote uh, to make sure I have a new piece of content ready to rock every single week. Uh, so let's jump in. Uh, if you're brand new to Evernote, then I recommend you check out a video I made for my personal YouTube channel called Evernote Dumbed Down. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to jump right in. In Evernote, I have a stack of notebooks specifically for my business and YouTube channel, and my content notebook is where I store information about videos, web pages, or any content that I'm working on. I start by creating a note for the video I'd like to create and give it a title. Right at the top of the note, I add a production checklist. I usually paste it in from one of my completed videos, but checklists are incredibly easy to create in Evernote uh, by clicking on the checkbox icon. So certainly tailor your production checklist to match your own process, uh, or just copy mine. Underneath the checklist, I add a section where I'll write the script for my video. I create the little line breaks by clicking the line break icon, but you don't have to do it. I just think it looks cool. Here's the note for the video you're watching right now. You can see exactly what I'm going to say next. Beach balls. See? It's in the script. Below the script, I leave a space for files related to the video. I like to attach a copy of my upload checklist and the video's thumbnail to the note when it's done. Now my script and important files are easy to share with other collaborators or team members using the Evernote share button. Now I can just work through the production process. You can see I already wrote the script for this video. Good job, me and I'll check off the record narration when I'm done recording. If you're working on a deadline or you want to remember to complete a video by a certain date, you can add a reminder to your note by clicking the reminder button. Now your note will be added to the reminder section above all your other notes in the notebook, and you'll get a reminder from Evernote when the due date arrives. I also like to add a tag to the note based on the type of content, since I also have web pages, presentations, and audio in the mix. I like this system because I have a record of all the content I've created and a way to manage the content I'm working on. Plus, you can create saved searches for the notebook you're in uh, to only show notes with incomplete to-do items or see all the videos you're finished with by creating a custom search for notes with completed to-do items. Now you have an easy way to see what you're working on, what you've already done, and everything in between. So there you have it. Um, if you don't have an Evernote account, um, you can use my link below uh, this video to get a free month of Evernote Premium. Um, I don't make any money off that, but if I send enough people to Evernote through that link, Evernote will invite me out to their headquarters. I wanna make sure that that happens. So if you don't have an account, sign up for one. You'll love it. Seems like a million people use it, uh, and I'm one of them. So check it out. Otherwise, um, you can see more of the tools and resources that I use here at VidiSEO uh, for my channel and for my business uh, if you go to VidiSEO.com slash resources. Uh, thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe because I got a video coming every week.